Greetings, food surfers. I'm Eric Surf6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And in this one, we are doing Peruvian food. The name of the place is right here, Juan Chaco. It's down here in the basement. Let's go. Just what he said. Peru is famous for Pisco as well as Chile and we always fight to see who is the owner of the brand Pisco. <laughs> it smells so strong. It's made from grapes, is that correct? Yes. All right, cheers. Salud. This is Eduardo everybody. Hello everybody. He's been on the channel a couple times. Yes. <laughs> He's from Chile. All right, here we go. Salud. It's not tequila so don't do straight, just little by little. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a little. <laughs> Similar to tequila, but... You see it's different than the Chilean. Pisco. It's got... Mm. Mm. Smooth. Mm. Pretty tasty. So I could not say which is better also. It's pretty tasty, but it's got it's a... a different. It's got a heavy smell. Yeah. Nice. All right, and now she's making a pisco sour for us. Yes. Okay, so here it is. This is the famous pisco sour from Peru, not Chile. Oh my God. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> made with the egg whites. Yeah. Nice and frothy. I will never discuss on this. Okay. Sense and taste of a woman, so it's, let's say it's Here we go. <laughs> Salud. Oh. Frothy, creamy. Yeah, delicious. It's Fresh. got the cinnamon in it. Yes. The oh, wow. I was missing. <laughs> it's very refreshing. Similar to a margarita, but better. Yeah, yeah. Much better. And Richer. It's a nice aperitif before eating something. It's like. It's like an ice cream almost. Yeah. Yeah. Very refreshing. And dangerous because it's mm. strong in alcohol and it's well covered by the lemon juice and the and the I think mm. we need a whole pitcher of these, don't we? <laughs> Was there enough for us in this bottle? No, I think we're gonna sample some other things like some beers and some wine perhaps, wine, right? Yes. The first dish has arrived, and it looks like we're having dessert here. <laughs> what is this? This is papas, potatoes. Oh, okay. Huancaina style potatoes. Huancayo is a province in Peru, eh? Oh, I see. And then the mayonnaise is different. Oh, it's served over with mayonnaise on top. Yes. Mayonnaise sauce. Yes. I love mayonnaise. Mm. Wonderful. And what's that? What's the black on top there? Chocolate? I don't know. Don't know, huh? Mm. That's a mystery. Let's give it a try. Peruvian potatoes with mayonnaise sauce. You see, interesting mayonnaise. Mm. Different type, right? Different type. It's more like a sauce. Mm -hmm. I haven't had potatoes in ages like this, except McDonald's. <laughs> This is a really nice potato. Yeah, boiled potatoes are mm. great. Mm. Just salt and it is. <laughs> Yum. And is that an olive on top? Mm. Oh. Next up, this is called ceviche. It's a seafood salad, I guess, right? Yeah, assorted. Ceviche Gorgeous. is cooked on the lemon juice. It's marinated. Okay. And it looks like we've got shrimp and octopus and what else? Scallops? Yes. Squid? 
Yes, and the big corn. Big, oh, big this corn. corn. Oh, okay, corn. corn That's interesting. And potato. I'm going right in for the shrimp. This looks amazing. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's see? very well marinated in the lemon. Yes. yes. Oh, this is tasty. And for a hot day mm. like today, to eat something mm. fresh like this, it's a... Wow, I think that was a scallop. Delicious. A yellow potato here? How about that? Oh, sweet. Mm. Very sweet. It's sweet potato. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> This is good on a hot day. Oh my goodness. Mm. I'm loving that lemon. It's a good octopus. Let's try the corn. Corn, you say? Yeah, big corn. <laughs> and raw, raw corn. Wow. It's fabulous. Some red onion. Mm-hmm. Delicious. You see potatoes as mm. the base of uh, Latin American food. Mm-hmm. And uh, before the Sp Spaniards came. And rice and all that came after this. Oh, I see. Mm. So you find That's why it tastes so good. You find potatoes in any kind of meal. Mm-hmm. Next up is a beer course, Eduardo. I think we got two yeah. different ones here. Yeah, this is black beer. This is... Cuscuena. Cusqueña means from Cus Cusco. Cusco, Peru. Cusqueña. Cusqueña. Mm. Cusqueña. Mm. It's hard to pronounce. I got the golden lager, you got the dark? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Mm. Oh, look at that. That mm -hmm. makes for a good video. Yeah. Uh, salud. <laughs> All right, look at the head on that thing. <laughs> That is pretty tasty. I like that. Yeah, it's got some kind, it's got a unique taste for sure. I feel like I'm uh, in Cusco. I'm up in the Andes, <laughs> up in the Andes mountains. Cusco, is that where it is? Yeah. Is it, how high up is it? Uh, Cusco is by <clears throat> the sea. It's oh, by the sea, uh, ah. Well, there's a picture of the mountains on here. Yeah, yeah, because Peru, eh? the Andes Mountains. Because they're everywhere. It's like in Chile, you can see Andes from anywhere. Oh, okay, I see. Nice, delicious. Take a sip of the black beer. Also. Okay. Ooh, very rich. Chocolatey. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Nice. Doesn't go with my t-shirt though, does it? <laughs> That's why I got rejected by the cameraman. This next dish is beef heart. Look at that, it looks fabulous. A heart is about two kilo, right? Really, that big? Yeah, it's oh, goodness. And is this a cheese sauce? Yes. Okay, let's hit it. I'll do it this way. It's a little bit hot. Oh, lovely. And we got the sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Can we get it off the stick? Actually, outdoors you eat it from the stick, man. Oh, you do? Yeah. How tough is it going to be? We'll let you know. Nice color. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it different to what your image of eating a heart is? You're right. It's uh, it's very smoky, very tender. Oh. Mmm. My image is a tougher meat. Mm -hmm. well, this is it's very tender. Yeah. This is delicious, and that sauce, it does have some heat, definitely. Yeah. 
and the meat is uh, it's peppered. We've got meat dish number two, and this is a beef loin, and it's cooked in a shoyu and vinegar, apparently. Comes with some flavored rice. Looks fabulous. And fried potatoes. <laughs> oh yeah, fried potatoes. Gorgeous presentation. Yeah, looks fabulous. It's glistening. Look at that. Yeah. Looks like it's in a lot of different seasonings. I'm tasting cilantro. Mm -hmm. Yes. Coriander, if you will. Oh, and those fries are amazing. Let's try the vegetables. Mm. Mm. You love onions, I know. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's some really good onion. Really good red onion. But the meat. It's so juicy and marinated in, in it's a vinegar, but it's oh it's in vinegar show you. Mm. This is, is so of, tasty. Because of the Japanese influence in Japanese cuisine, mm -hmm. but in Peruvian cuisine, they use show you also and they... Oh so good. It almost tastes like a wine sauce. Mm. Lovely cut of meat. Mm. Oh, this is a banging dish. <laughs> I love these steak fries. Mm. Oh, yeah. Real potatoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gran Tinto. Gran Tinto. Gran Tinto. Wine from Peru. Oh. And we're with the master here, <laughs> the master chef. Welcome, Julio. Thanks for having us. We want you on the video. Lovely, lovely. Gracias, mi amigo. Hey. Julio is a real good friend. I could tell. When I was homeless, or I mean restaurantless, he allowed me to mm -hmm. do things here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Hey. Remember to make it sound? Yep. Hold it down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no it seems you put Chilean wine in your bottle of Peruvian wine. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. No. <laughs> it tastes different. It's, it's different. It's, it's dry and fruity. Yeah, very nice goes very well with the meat. It goes, yeah, it's very nice. What do we have here? This is a stewed white fish and mashed potatoes. And I'm smelling a tomato sauce. Oh, that's a big piece of fish. And the combination with the mashed potatoes, perfect. Eh? Oh, I'm tasting the cilantro again. <laughs> I love me some cilantro. Mm. In Peru, they call it culantro. Oh, yeah? We call it cilantro. Mm. And in English, it's coliander. And in Japan, it's pakushi. Pakushi. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely dish. So many different flavors. Wow. And the mashed, mashed potatoes are. Hmm. Tastes like mountain food. <laughs> very interesting. Lots of good flavors. And that fish is very nice. The next dish is here. This is a lamb dish, a lamb chop there in the center, and it's served over beans. And it also comes with rice on the side. Flavored rice. Yes. Okay. Lamb chops are fairly popular in Japan. 
But with beans, this is a first. Let's get in here for some beans. Whoa. Look <laughs> at that. Beautiful looking beans. And the sauce that comes with the lamb chop. Yeah, it's gorgeous looking. Yes. Can we eat it with the fingers? Let's try. It's on a bun. Oh. Oh my. It's amazing how lamb can be so soft sometimes. This is one of those times. Mmm. Super tender. So delicious. And the. Oh. Wow. South American spicing, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing of the sweet sauce. <laughs> it's in the green, yeah, green salsa. Those beans What's the beans? Sauce? These beans are special. This is home cooking also. Mm. In, in Peru, in Chile, we eat oh. beans like that. Oh, so good. Wow. Yeah, just a basic green sauce. It's not spicy. Let me try some of the rice here as well, too. Está delicioso. I think some rice and some of the beans and sauce would be nice. Yeah. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. It does. It has a home style flavor to it, doesn't it? I could eat this every day. Mm. Something different about this rice. It's got some flavor. Yeah, it's salted rice. Salted. Mm. Yeah. Not just the plain rice, right? white rice, but a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt, that's what it is. Only that. Yeah? Very nice. Got a pureness to it. This is an excellent dish. Get in there, you guys. <clears throat> Have some lamb and beans. So we've got a fried fish dish here, which looks amazing. It's like Peruvian, and Peruvian tempura. <laughs> it does look like tempura, yeah. And then we've got the secret sauce here. But it's not secret anymore because it comes from these Peruvian peppers right here. They look like carrots, but they're peppers. It's cooked peppers. Isn't it? Yeah, hot peppers. So it's the real deal, Peruvian food. This place is authentic, for mm -hmm. sure. You see, um, I mean, he's got all the stuff in the freezer right there. And yeah. Julio, Julio is a magician. <laughs> he can prepare all those things in that small kitchen. <laughs> the, the kitchen is, uh, is, is very small. Even by Japan standards, it's very small. But look, this is the magician, the wizard of Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's in the latest ranking, Peruvian food was uh, ranked so high up? top in the world cuisine. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. They, they are very proud. It was this year. I'm very proud to be here. This this is definitely legit. This the stuff. Problem, the only problem is that in Tokyo, I cook better than him. That's the only problem. <laughs> <laughs> on Tokyo. I see. I see. No, no. no. Julio is the master. Es un amigo. Yes, definitely. He's my very good friend. I can tell. I know you guys. Yeah. I see the similarities. Even even. Sometimes Chile, Peru people discussing, whatever, but here we're all very close friends. You have to be. This is, you know, this is Japan. It's Japan. It's no problem, no problem. Gotta stay together. No yeah. 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 When Julio wants to eat something rich, he uh. comes to my place. Oh. Uh. <laughs> really? <laughs> and me too sometimes when I want to enjoy an evening I come here. <laughs> <laughs> because I know Julio will prepare with his heart. He does. Mm. Yes. Look, uh, all That's the amazing. plates he served were so delicate, so well prepared. 
Uh, doesn't look like a man cooking. Looks like a lady is doing it, those Yeah, things. the way the dishes are all yeah. different. And maybe it's... he has some tendons. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. And this is this is a mayonnaise. Uh, this is original tartar sauce. Oh, original tartar sauce. Tartar okay. Sauce. Got it. Okay. And this is the. The spicy stuff. Uh, spicy. All right. Let's get into it. How many kinds of fish here? Many kinds? Many? Sakana. Sakana. All sakana. Okay. Quanto tipo de pescado? Aquí hay uno. Fish, only one, and then the other are seafood. Oh, okay. Other seafood, like. Ebi. Ebi, I mean. Okay, so there's a. It's hard to tell. Assorted, assorted seafood. Okay. Okay, I can see the shrimp. Nice. We're going to do the spicy, the togarashi. Togarashi ski? Togarashi ski. Peruvian togarashi. This is great. Okay. Start with the shrimp, shall we? Oh. That's an interesting spice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Different than the Japanese togarashi. It's good. I like a bit of spice. All right, let's try the fish. Oh. It's magnifico. It's meaty. Oh, it's good. Very moist. That's a good fish. I like that. Mmm. Very nice breading. Get some red onions. Tomato. Oh. Should we try the other sauce? Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. This is a very interesting texture. It's salsa tartara. Tartara. Which is popular in Japan, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see which is better. Oh, that is really creamy. Wow, that is tasty. Let's do it with the shrimp. I think I like the tartar sauce better. Oh, so creamy. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> what can I say? They're both good. Oh. Say gracias, wizard. Muchas gracias, Muchas Mr. Gracias. Wizard. Julio, <laughs> thank you so much, my friend. You are the man. What? This guy is a genius. What? What? This guy here, I, I, was the I, don't, man. I don't know this guy. I was the man before. <laughs> we, got, we got Chile, we got Peru. Argentina. Oh my goodness, yep. We've done Argentina. Wow, Latino food, home cooking. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous stuff. What can I say? All right, we have finally arrived at dessert time. This is called lucuma. Perfect. It is, imagine an orange avocado that's been smashed. Yeah, very, very hard, but then when you smash it and prepare it, it becomes like this. Looks like ice cream. Hmm. This is lucuma ice cream. You see, nice flavor. Oh my goodness, what's going on? And you never tried it before, right? Never. It tastes like caramel. It tastes like coffee. It tastes like chocolate. A little bit of avocado. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Yeah, that's a miss from chili it's also. It's more of a fruit in texture than it is ice cream. Very rich. Oh my gosh, that's good. 
Wow. What could be better than that? Mm -hmm. This is a homemade flan. Eh? Homemade flan or pudding pudding? Yes. Looks amazing. Mm -hmm. You see, it feels like going to grandma's home. <laughs> it does. It does, at home. And there's a sauce on the bottom. Gotta get some of that. Oh. It's like brandy. This is what that dessert is made from. This is the natural fruit right here. It looks just like an avocado. And they smash it up, mix some things into it, and it becomes this this gorgeous looking, oh, it's fabulous. Yeah. You have this in chili too? Yes. You do? Okay. But you never eat it like a fruit. You always eat it like ice cream or something. It's called, it's, they're calling it a potato though. It's, right? It says potato. Amazing desserts. Amazing everything. Oh my gosh. Julio. 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 And his name you, is... You are amazing. His name is Julio Cesar. <laughs> like Julio the, Cesar. Julio Cesar, like the Roman... <laughs> Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar. Julio Peru. Cesar. <laughs> and wow. he is the wizard of <laughs> Tokyo. Peruvian cooking. Definitely authentic <laughs> Peruvian cooking right here in Japan. And wow, I'd like to thank you, Eduardo, for introducing me to this place. Oh my gosh. Every dish was just incredible. So many different flavors, so many different tastes. I, I feel very proud to introduce you, my friend. And he makes it all in this tiny little kitchen. Oh my goodness. So good, so good. So on my ranking scale, like I said, it's a six out of six. This is one of the best world cuisine experiences I've had. Yeah, it's so 10 out of six. <laughs> it's something you can say that. So we're doing a giveaway. If you guys aren't familiar, uh, it's called the Get Some Snack Pack. All you gotta do is drop a comment down below. Tell us what you thought of the meal, and I will uh, give away three of the Get Some Snack Packs in the very next episode. So uh, thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And on behalf of myself, Eduardo, mm -hmm. Julio, Seiko. I, I enjoyed so much coming to the The camera you. person. We had a great time. Cheers, and we'll see you in the next one.